Many powerful animals roam the African savanna, some scarier than others. How dangerous do you think a pack of wild dogs is? What about baboons? If you want to meet some formidable animals, stay tuned as we count down the 15 most powerful African animals. Number 15, Cape Buffalo. The most remarkable thing about Cape Buffaloes is that they're so dangerous, they're known as the Black Death. These magnificent beasts are one of the five most difficult African species to hunt on foot, according to big game hunters. The other four members are the African lion, leopard, African elephant, and rhinoceros. Although the Cape Buffalo kills more big game hunters than the other four animals combined. Although the Cape Buffalo is a herbivorous bovine, effectively a plant-eating cow, it is aggressive and spiteful. There are several reports of them using their legendary memories and incredible perseverance to wreak retribution on hunters who shoot at or damage them, displaying perhaps a bit more intelligence than the standard bovine. Hunting groups have been stalked by Cape Buffalo, who have hidden in wait and ambushed their pursuers. Thousands of people are said to be charged each year, with the points of their massive, curving horns or by head butting with their boss, a thick horn shield that surrounds the skull where the horns emerge. They may attack and cause considerable injury. The largest males can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and stand 6 feet tall at the shoulder. It takes about 10 years to achieve full size. Large predators rarely attack fully developed buffalo, but frail adults and calves are prey for lions. Attacking any individual of a Cape Buffalo herd is dangerous even for a big pride of lions. Many lions have succumbed to the Cape Buffalo's lethal horns, and herd members would rush to one another's rescue. Number 14. Lion the lion is a huge muscular cat with short legs and a long body and is often referred to as the king of the jungle. The size and look of males and females differ significantly. The male's most distinguishing feature is his mane, which differs between individuals and communities. It can be completely absent, fringed around the face or full and shaggy covering the back of the head, neck and shoulders, and going across the throat and chest to join a fringe along the belly. The mane and fringe of certain lions are extremely dark, practically black, giving the animal a magnificent aspect. Males with manes appear larger, which can be used to intimidate rivals or impress potential mates. A fully grown adult reaches around 3.5 feet tall at the shoulder and weighs 370 to 500 pounds. Lions eat a wide range of animals, from mice and baboons to cape buffalo and hippos, although they prefer to hunt medium to large sized hoofed animals like wildebeest, zebras, and antelopes. Geographically, as well as between nearby prides, prey choices differ. Elephants and giraffes have been known to be taken by lions, but only when they are young or unwell. They devour any flesh that they can get their paws on, including carrion and new kills scavenged from hyenas, cheetahs, and wild dogs. Lionesses who live in open savannas conduct most of the hunting, while males often eat from the females' kills. Male lions, on the other hand, are skilled hunters and often hunt in some locations. In scrub or woodland habitat, pride males spend less time with the ladies and hunt most of their own food. Male nomads must always be self-sufficient in terms of food. No one likes to tangle with a lion because it is a fearless animal. Number 13. Spotted Hyenas Hyenas are more than the Lion King's carrion-eating baddies. Even if you don't fall in love with these smart creatures, it's difficult not to admire them. Hyenas don't just cackle for the sake of it. According to scientists, the pitch and frequency of a hyena's laugh might indicate its age and social position. Hyenas and lions frequently compete for the same areas and prey. As a result, the two creatures compete ferociously. They steal each other's food and slaughter their enemies young. Spotted hyenas don't merely scavenge for lion scraps, unlike what Simba would have you believe. Hyenas with spots hunt and kill in groups. Striped hyenas, on the other hand, are a different matter. Striped hyenas devour carrion and are frequently hit by vehicles while doing so. It's understandable that many people dislike hyenas because of their reputation as scavengers and their unsettling laughter. Number 12. Elephants Elephants have a massive physique that weighs between 3 and 7 tons, and not many animals will mess with elephants, including lion prides, unless they have no other choice. They are capable of uprooting large trees from the ground. A big cat can be severely injured by a single hit with its trunk. Despite its bulk, it has a top speed of 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. An elephant never travels alone, preferring to travel in groups. As a result, an attack on one elephant alerts the other elephants. Attacking an elephant appears to be a near impossible task. Making an elephant angry is the last thing you want to do. When an elephant becomes agitated, it will go after you no matter what it takes. They're normally quiet animals, but if you annoy them, you better run quicker than the speed of light, since an enraged elephant can sprint very quickly and squash you like an ant if he catches up to you. Number 11. Silverback Gorilla 
Gorillas are the largest primates on the planet. It's difficult to gauge a gorilla's true strength, although estimates range from 4 to 10 times that of an average person. The strength of a silverback gorilla is unrivaled. Gorillas can easily rip down banana trees, have escaped from cages by bending the iron bars, and have a bite force of roughly 1,300 psi, which is double that of a lion. But except for silverback fights, gorillas are gentle giants who rarely show their full strength. They're also formidably different from humans, making them better climbers and more suited to walking on all fours. That means that judging their strength by human standards is pointless, because they wouldn't be able to accomplish some of the actions we take for granted, since they balance so differently. Gorillas have been recorded making over 25 different sounds, demonstrating their intelligence and outstanding communication abilities. Gorillas are primarily herbivores, eating bamboo, fruit, and leafy vegetation. The western lowland gorillas also consume small insects. Adult gorillas can consume up to 30 kilograms of food each day. Number 10. Leopard Leopards are not only scary and beautiful, but they are also courageous and tough. Leopards, unlike most animals, do not flee and hide when they are injured. Instead, they grow more aggressive and hence more deadly. They're quick and vicious, and they've been known to attack humans for no reason other than a midnight feast. Leopard assaults on humans are most common at night in near villages. Leopards have been known to break into human homes at night and attack the occupants as they sleep. Several deadly assaults have also occurred in zoos and houses where leopards are kept as pets. Leopards are significantly smaller than lions and tigers. They can conceal and creep into places where lions and tigers cannot. You can literally hide a leopard under your own average sized house bed. Despite their diminutive stature, they're extremely powerful animals capable of killing humans. They're significantly more covert and stealthier than lions and tigers owing to their size, and they tend to hide when they see lions or tigers. In addition, unlike lions and tigers, they are adept tree climbers who can ascend human-made rooftops. This makes them extremely difficult to locate and dispatch. Let's not forget that while the leopard is much stronger and braver than its cheetah cousin, as well as strong enough to take on prey larger than itself, it can only fight off an attacking tiger or lion in order to defend itself or protect its young. Leopards are the smallest of the panthera genus, weighing between 31 and 77 kilograms, while lions weigh between 130 and 190 kilograms, and tigers, the largest of all felines, weigh between 170 and 320 kilograms. Number 9. Wild Dogs Wild dogs live in a close-knit social group of 2 to 27 individuals. They have a solid bond, they'll even look after injured members of the pack and feed them till they're well again. The average litter size of a wild dog is 10 puppies, the most of any canid. Only the dominant male and female breed and other adults assist in the rearing of the pups. Wild dogs have a higher success rate when it comes to killing prey than lions and leopards, despite their smaller size. They hunt at dawn and night as a group and can take down considerably larger animals such as antelope and wildebeest. The vocalization of a wild dog differs significantly from those of a domestic dog. They greet each other with twittering and whimpering sounds, as if one dog becomes separated from the pack, it will make an owl-like hoot call to locate the others. Wild dogs may run at speeds of up to 44 miles per hour and cover an area of more than 770 square miles. When caring for a litter of pups, they stay closer to their dens. Number 8. Rhino Rhinos are enormous monsters, and an adult rhino would normally take a couple lions to kill. A single lion would almost probably fail to kill an adult rhinoceros that is fully grown and healthy. Fortunately for lions, they typically hunt in packs. If a huge group of lions set their mind on killing an adult rhino, I believe they have a decent chance of succeeding. But there's also a good chance they won't. A group of lions would most likely not view a healthy adult rhino as a feasible food option due to the risk involved. Lions, like most big cats, are cautious and would seek food elsewhere if they were hungry. In a fight with lions, the rhino will not back down and will chase the felines until they stop the hunts. During rhino hunts, several lions have been hurt, yet the rhino remains a strong opponent, often defeating the lion. Rhinos have a tough skin, so it takes a lot of biting for one lion to start injuring another. The rhino has a plenty of time to gather before charging the felines whose final wish is to have their bodies pierced by the rhino's enormous horn. Rhinos will also stand their ground against hippos and any other dangerous animals. Number 7. Crowned Eagle In its native Africa, the crowned eagle is renowned as the leopard of the skies and is the deadliest bird of prey for mammals. Their diet consists primarily of mammals, with small deer-like species and small primates such as monkeys serving their primary food. Crowned eagles hunt in the same way that leopards do. They use stealth to get near their target, then accelerate at fast speeds towards it. They appear elegant and lovely at times. They are violent and frightening one moment and friendly the next. Some eagles seize and carry their prey. Crowned eagles go for the kill right away. 
They hit the back of the neck, or sometimes the skull, with a killing strike, just like leopards. Crown eagles prefer to hunt around dawn or dusk. Their talons are so powerful, they can smash a 30 kilogram antelope's head. They can snap the spine of an animal up to seven times its weight in one swoop. On impact, such razor-sharp talons frequently kill victims. If not, the animal will either die of asphyxiation or succumb to its injuries. A crown eagle can be cruel at times, ramming its talons into the prey's skull, aiming directly for the brain. Number 6. Hippo Despite its intimidating appearance, the hippo is one of Africa's most underappreciated creatures in terms of its fearlessness and potentially violent disposition. Hippos are one of Africa's largest animals, and they aren't known for being cheerful. Hippos kill more people in Africa each year than lions, leopards, crocodiles, and any other significant predator. The most critical necessity for a hippo is a constant source of water. Hippos conserve a significant amount of energy by being in the water. Because the water retains their enormous barrel-like bodies, they don't need to eat as much as they would otherwise. Hippos can stay submerged for up to 6 minutes because they can keep water out by closing their nostrils and ears. While a hippo can walk on the bottom of rivers and dams, they are ungainly on land. Hippopods can contain anything from 2 to 200 animals, although the average is 7 to 15. Bulls are very grumpy and intolerant of one another, and their sharp teeth slice even young bulls on the head and shoulders. Dominant bulls usually express their dominance with wide mouth yawns that reveal their powerful canine teeth, as well as a lot of grunting. Their lower canines have been transformed into massive tusks that can reach 30 to 50 centimeters in length. Their teeth are weapons of defense, and hippos have been known to bite a 3 meter crocodile in half. Number 5. Baboons Baboons are among the most easily recognizable monkeys. They have huge hairless buttocks that can turn red, and tufts of hair on either side of their faces. These old world monkeys also lack prehensile tails, which means they don't utilize their tails as hands like other monkeys. When they feel threatened or have been socialized to link humans with food, they can turn dangerous. Large male baboons will guard the other members of their troop, so if you approach them too closely, a large male may appear and stand between you and the others. When adult baboons locate leopard and lion kittens unattended by adults, they are known to kill them. It may seem terrible to us, but if this baboon kills a predator, it knows the roles will be reversed in two years if the lion gets its opportunity. Mature male Kakuma baboons have a fearsome defense and may attack predators with their enormous sharp canine teeth, which can critically damage predators as formidable as leopards. And despite not being immune to predation, adult males are the least vulnerable members of the baboon family. Number 4. Crocodile Crocodiles are ambush predators that wait for fish or land animals to approach before attacking. Crocodiles devour a variety of animals, including fish, amphibians, crabs, mollusks, birds, reptiles, and mammals, as well as smaller crocodiles. Crocodiles have morphological traits that make them effective predators. They're known for ambushing their victim while hiding in plain sight. Crocodiles can move quickly over short distances on land and in the water. That aids their ability to hunt prey. The crocodile's exceptionally powerful jaws are responsible for the world's strongest bite. These two traits, together with the animal's capacity to hold its breath for extended periods of time, make it an ideal predator for hunting large terrestrial mammals. Crocodiles in Africa usually must compete with lions, tigers, and leopards for food, territory, and life. Sure, the cats, as the ultimate apex predators, are big and strong enough to take on even a large crocodile, but whether they meet on land or in water usually determines the outcome of the fight. Number 3. Black Mamba The Black Mamba is not the type of snake with which you would want to watch the after-school special. This is one of the world's most dangerous snakes. It's a long snake that can reach lengths of up to 15 feet. The Black Mamba lives on the African continent and is the world's second longest snake. When the Black Mamba embarks on the hunts, get out of the way, don't hide in the trees, and don't try to flee for your life, because the Black Mamba will locate you and hunt you down. Because it contains so many elements, the venom of the Black Mamba reminds me of some of the great Italian cuisine. The only difference is that Italian food tastes excellent and doesn't kill you, whereas Mamba venom is highly toxic and includes a potent cocktail of lethal neurotoxins that will cause agonizing symptoms quickly, and ideally bring you to Nirvana in 20 minutes. As a result of all this, the Black Mamba is regarded as one of the world's most dangerous snakes. Fortunately, it does not seek out humans. If you don't trouble it, it won't pay attention to you. Nevertheless, if you bother it, this snake won't need a lawyer's help. It will take care of everything by itself. Number 2. Emperor Scorpion The Emperor Scorpion is one of the world's largest scorpions, measuring up to 7.9 inches in length and weighing an average of 1 ounce. They have 8 legs, one for each portion of their bodies. Black is the color of the body. When exposed to ultraviolet light, they fluorescence blue or green. 
The tail that coils back over the body is where the stinger is tipped. Its stinger is crimson in hue. Its tail is covered in small hairs that let it locate prey through vibration. The front of the body is adorned with a pair of huge reddish black pincers. Emperor scorpions are predators who eat their victims. Most of their diet consists of insects, though mice and small lizards are also consumed. They can halt their metabolism and go up to a year without eating. Their feed provides all the water they require. Adult scorpions use their pincers to capture and crush prey, whilst baby scorpions use their stinger to immobilize it. Africa is home to the emperor scorpion. In the jungle and tropical savanna, burrows are dug. Burrows can be found in the earth, under rocks, logs, termite mounds, and tree roots. Mating occurs throughout the year, though it is most active during the summer. The male snatches the female by the pincers and drags her around when they first meet. Once he has identified an appropriate place, he will implant a spermatophore. The female will then be dragged over the top of it and will be forced into her vaginal opening. After a 7 to 9 month gestation period, the scorpions will be born. Live baby scorpions are born to the mother and spend their first several weeks on her back. Up to 35 young can be born at any given time. As they mature, they shed their old skin and replace it with a new one. This gradually darkens from white to black as they mature. A newborn enters sexual maturity at the age of 4 months. Emperor scorpions are nocturnal hunters. Due to their weak eyesight, they rely on their sensory hairs to determine where their prey is. They stay in the burrow all day. Up to 15 scorpions can be housed in a scorpion burrow. Number 1. Great White Shark While a great white shark in New Jersey inspired the shark in Jaws, the iconic creature is significantly less dangerous. As scientific knowledge about these secretive predators grows, their image as mindless killers diminish. Great white sharks are the world's largest predatory fish, found in cool coastal waters across the world. They grow to be about 15 feet on average, although specimens up to 20 feet long and weighing 5,000 pounds have been observed. Their upper bodies are slate gray to blend in with the rocky coastal sea floor, but their name comes from their white underbelly. They are torpedo-shaped swimmers with powerful tails that can propel them up to 15 miles per hour through the water. When attacking prey from below, they can even exit the water completely and beach like whales. Their mouths are aligned with up to 300 serrated triangular teeth placed in multiple rows, and they have an extraordinary sense of smell to find prey, making them highly adapted predators. They even have organs that can detect the small electromagnetic fields that animals produce. Other sharks, crustaceans, mollusks, and marine birds are among their prey. Sea lions, seals, and small-toothed whales like orcas are all food for larger white sharks. The species has also been observed eating the carcasses of deceased whales. Great white sharks are responsible for a third to half of the 100 or so shark attacks that occur each year around the world. The majority of these, on the other hand, aren't lethal. According to research, great white sharks, who are inherently infested, frequently taste bite and then release their human prey. Although this isn't a particularly comforting distinction, it does indicate that humans aren't on the great white's menu. Experts claim fatal attacks are usually examples of mistaken identity. When viewed from below, swimmers and surfers often resemble their favorite prey, seals. I don't want to know. I must admit, some of these creatures gave me goosebumps. My favorite has to be the silverback gorilla because of its muscular frame and behavior. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our countdown of the 15 most powerful African animals. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.